<laughs> oh shit what's up people we're back again we are here again yes 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 we are and, and you know we took a little time off took a week off you know it felt good to to just rest and refresh and uh come back with some more energy and all that good shit huh need it sometimes yeah, you ain't lying about that. You got to reboot. Yeah, you ain't lying about that. But we're here again, and uh, I'm going to let you guys know what we're going to be just talking about tonight. Bam. What lies beneath. Which I will say, well, before I get into that, James, how's it going, man? How you doing? Doing good, man. Happy to hear that. Nice. Uh, well, f- fucking cold as shit today, but. Uh, other than that, <laughs> you know, Dale's all right. <clears throat> Holy shit, is a fucking understatement, man. It, yeah, I took the trash out. I took the trash out this morning. Almost fucking froze to death. It <laughs> it sucked today. It sucked yesterday when I came over to your house to grab those weights. Yeah, oh, weather these days, man. That last week it was like in the fifties. Like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah, yeah, I know. This weather has been too up and down, too up and down. <sighs> well, how but, you, um, how was your day? It was good, man. It was, I mean, work from home today. Yeah, same. Just, those days, of course, are better than the days you have to go to the office, which tomorrow I do, and tomorrow's probably going to be fucking cold. I know you people don't care about the weather and all that shit, but we're telling it anyway. <laughs> telling it anyway. Hate it. But, uh, I mean, I'm, it was good, though, man. I just, you know, worked. Did what I do, did my work, and fucking had a movie or YouTube. Well, no, I actually only watched this today, so. Yeah, same here. It's like YouTube in the background and yep. I got some of these fun, fun, fun cases. But enough of that bullshit. Uh what lies beneath? So, yeah, so Richard this is Gere cool. and Michelle Pfeiffer. No, Harrison Ford. Oh, right, Harrison Ford, I mean, Jesus. I don't know why I said Richard Gere. Harrison <laughs> Ford and Michelle Pfeiffer. You said that so confidently too. That's what that's what I I don't know saying. why I had Richard Gere in my head. It just his fucking face popped up and that's the fucking <laughs> The words are killing well. That's so crazy. Oh shit. But yo, this yeah. is this was my first time watching this movie. Like I wasn't sure if I seen it or not. I know I've heard this title before quite yeah. quite a few times, just not I haven't heard about it in a year, in a long time. I've yeah. Heard, you know, I mean? I seen it when it when it first came out. I remember seeing it. Uh I knew when you told me about it, I was like, that sounds so familiar. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I think I seen it. But as soon as I see Michelle Pfeiffer mm. and, I, and it was how it was starting everything, I was like, Oh yeah, okay, I remember this now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yes, I did see it. I was it when did it come out? Two thousand. Two thousand. Yeah, yeah. Two thousand. And shit, it was good. Yeah, it, it was, was good. good. We'll dive, dive into the ratings in a little bit, but it was it was a good movie. And seeing Harrison Ford play play that role was very interesting for me. Very oh, interesting. Never, oh, me. you never seen him play a role like that, huh? Not to my recollection. No. Okay. And then just. I love Michelle Pfeiffer, man. Yeah. I was, I was just telling my wife earlier today, I was like, when I'm watching this, I was like, I haven't seen her in so freaking long. Yeah. She was like, in good stuff back in the day. Yeah. I mean, oh my God, Catwoman. Talk about, never mind. That, <laughs> you, you you go to the Popcorn and Pines Patreon, that's another one right there, 100%. Dude, her is fuck, you, got, you got Catwoman, man. She was in fucking Greece, too. I don't That's why the first time I seen Michelle Pfeiffer, Greece too. I, I don't know if I've ever seen Greece too. I remember the first one. I seen Greece. Let's talk about that really quick. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I seen that movie, I was in the fifth grade. You know where I seen that movie? In school. Yeah. Like I remember, we had to have um, permission slips. Yep. To watch a movie in school. To watch a movie, a certain uh, if it's a rated a certain thing or if it has certain things in it, certain themes. Yeah, there, yeah. there was no like sex or nudity in it, but there was like oh, there was a little adult jokes here and there. Yeah, and I think a little. I don't know if there's. I haven't seen it in years. I think that's the only. As a matter of fact, it's the only time I seen it was in the fifth grade. So I don't remember the movie at all. <laughs> I don't dancing and singing and shit. But uh, yeah, I watched the movie in fifth fucking grade, man. Fifth fucking grade. Ain't that some shit? Nice. Holy shit. I think, oh, wow, wow. She was a pink shit. lady. Michelle Pfeiffer was a pink lady. Hey, pink, all right. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Oh, yeah. I oh, apologize. Shit. I apologize. But no. Um, so, yeah, this movie, What Lies Beneath, was just. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't read the synapses. I was like, I just want to dive into this blind. I want to see how. That's smart. Goes. That's smart. And but especially, but I was like, with those two, horror, how is this going to happen? What's going to happen? And it takes so it take it does take a little bit. Like I like it's a nice slow burn, but it's a good story. It's a good buildup. But it does take a little bit before you actually feel like it's a horror movie, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Maybe a good shit, half hour, maybe even more than that. Maybe forty minutes. No, it's something. a little bit because it started off slow. It started off slow, like the daughter going to school. Then they go up to the uh, the house near the lake. Mm-hmm. Uh, then it's just down, like just chilling, talking, like nothing's going on. Yeah, they're just like a normal married couple. She thinks the neighbor killed his wife, so you're like, "What the fuck is going on here?" It's like, okay, so this movie is about she seen some uh, a neighbor kill his wife, and now he's going to try to kill her or something. She it's thought she seen that. Yeah, so it's going to be like set up like that. Oh but, shit, man! Now it's cl- now things are clicking for me with this damn. Yeah, movie. so that's how they are setting it up. So she started seeing a shrink. Um, at or because she told the husband and she called out the dude at a party later on in the movie, and his wife mm-hmm. was there. She's like, "What are you talking about?" And she was like, "I started seeing a shrink now because she thinks she's seeing ghosts in the house." This is yep. where the paranormal started coming in. That's There's right. a ghost of a woman that kind of looks like Michelle Pfeiffer, but with green eyes and thinner, blonde hair. They say they look all blonde to look alike, I guess. They, they say they kind of look alike. They don't. But um, so this ghost is trying to tell her something. That's what it seems like. And, and, and she's but, telling but, the husband and they think he, she's crazy. Yeah, they do. And I was going to say, even even before that, though, too, you have the... um. Going back to the neighbor, why she was so suspicious of the neighbor's husband is because the neighbor comes over at one. Somebody comes over and she's like that weird interaction. Remember with the neighbor? Oh, and when she's, she's like, crying in the yard and yeah. she put the eyeball through the fence? Yeah. Yeah. That. Like that right there. And then it's just like, okay. So all this craziness and all of a sudden everything's just back to normal with the neighbors. Like the neighbors yeah. are just fine because she's trying to investigate shit, investigate shit. And uh, shit, I'm like, oh shit, what's going on? Is this husband a murderer? Is he a serial killer? Is he a this? Is he a that? Is this yeah. chick missing? And come to find out, well, we'll get there. We'll get there. And like, it's it's crazy how obsessive she gets, and like how how much um, suspense it was. And the, yeah. so, like, I remember when she's, for example, when she was looking out the window with the binoculars. And she just like sees the footprint and she looks down and all of a sudden, yeah, you know what I mean? She jumped and her husband's there and I was like, oh shit. And then it's just, and he's like, what are you doing? He's like, yeah. He's like, what are you doing? Yeah. And the whole time again, cause I've never seen this. So for me, the whole time, I never, ever, ever suspect him. Never suspect him. Really? Like, it can't be, it can't be, but it's it was true because they, cause they made him play it off good too, because even though when she's telling him about this, I see a woman with green eyes, this, and this, and this. He's sitting there playing it cool. Like he don't know this girl. Well, mm-hmm. And he's calling her crazy, seeing her shrink. Like he's worried about her. Like what's wrong with you? It's, he's playing it like straight face. Like he's really concerned. He's really. Like he don't know who this ghost is and what this is about. He said, oh, it's, I think it's the spirit of my father. Or something. If, it's, if it is haunted. I forgot what he yeah, said. Like, but like he is very, very good at just like that whole I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the hell's going on. You're mm-hmm. crazy. Are you sure? Blah blah. Like all that shit. He's really good at to the point to where you don't even suspect like as a viewer, I didn't even suspect him. And usually I'm like, why why can't it be in? Mm. But it just seemed like he was too which of course they trick you with that shit though, because it was like him, it just seemed like it was like work, home, family, work, home, family, work, home, family. But obviously, it wasn't that. <laughs> obviously, it wasn't that. And then I remember there's a point in the movie where they're talking with some friends or the neighbors or whoever. No, it was some friends. Yeah, it was when they went to 
to they met they met up with um the husband's co-worker and then his wife Michelle Pfeiffer's character she ended up knowing the husband the, her she ended up knowing her husband's friend's new girlfriend or whatever yep. she already knew her from wherever so they were all yapping and talking and all that shit <clears throat> and it was like uh no she didn't go crazy there though did she she didn't do anything weird at the, nothing happened there right at the mm-hmm. little brunch thing I no Oh, no, no, no. It's That's what it was. That's what it was. That's what it was. Oh, okay, I remember now. So when they're having a conversation, talking or whatever, when he was saying now he wasn't a teacher anymore. Remember, he was doing a teacher for years. He yeah. Teacher for years. And then they never said why he stopped. He never said why he stopped. He's like, no, I don't do that anymore. He said he's uh, yeah, okay. he was doing something, something else with science or some shit. I forgot what. And it never even clicked. And never even f- I, like I never even thought like, wait a minute. You know what I mean? I still didn't even click. I'm just like, people switch jobs for whatever reason. I mean, nine times out of ten, they switch jobs for better pay because yeah. didn't hit didn't yeah they switch jobs for better pay. Whatever the case may be, I think he became and, a writer. Does he write something for science? Maybe I forgot. I, I forgot too. I forgot. What I thought I, one, I thought one time he was in the study and he was writing. He may have been. Oh. He may have been. But he but he was like or no, he was uh not he, he, he fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, when he gets to, he gets to that, talks about the science, the science thing, and then you don't I I just didn't think about it again as far as him used, you know, being a professor, how he used to be a professor. Never thought about it, never dawns on me until you find out that the girl that's missing was one of his students. And mm-hmm. it's just like okay. start putting the puzzle together. Yep. And again, shit happens. Does not mean he's involved at all. Just means one of his students went missing. And maybe they knew about it. And it's just maybe, you know, maybe she knew about the student being well, she knew about the student missing and all that other stuff. I don't think she knew it was one of his students at the time. Or yeah, because she asked if he knew her, right? Yeah, know her or something, and he kept denying it, and then just boom. <laughs> oh my gosh, man! Then, and then this- the paranormal, the paranormal part about this shit. So the Michelle Pfeiffer's character is seeing the ghost of the dead girl. Um. Mm-hmm. Uh, so she thinks she's going crazy. She even had her friend come into a seance. All yes. this shit. Uh, okay, right. but, but at one point, so when she went to the girl's house, she found out her name and everything. Went visit the mother and went in her room. She took a stole a locket of her hair and brought it home. Since she had that hair, she got possessed by the fucking ghost, and the ghost tried to kill him, seduce him at and one kill point. Him. Yeah, tried to seduce him and kill him at one point. Which you know what I liked about that part? If you really paid attention, like one. Oh my god, Michelle Pfeiffer. Her eyes are green. If you yes, paid attention, that I was gonna say that with the red. Dr- oh my god, she looks so good in that. Oh. Yeah. But um, like how seductive she was, how seductive she was, and how um aggressive she was with yeah. it. Bit his lip, shoved the apple well, down his throat. Yeah, I was gonna say when she takes the apple from him, bites him a couple times, bit his lip, and just kind of a little rough, you know. But mm-hmm. we don't need to talk about that. But anyway, <laughs> and he he's like, oh, you're a little. He's like, oh, you're rough, and this, that, and the third, and shit they get to getting not fucking but they get they get to you know things are heating up but he uh but the thing that scene happened is because the ghost it made her remember because that uh they were fooling around like that on the desk when she was in the doorway when she walked in and seen him because remember she got in the accident this is where they filled in the gap where how she ended up losing her memory the year before okay yeah 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 yeah. so when he pushed her off on the floor she woke up. She goes, "Oh my god, I remember. I walked in, and you were with another woman. Right? Here. I seen you in the mirror, mm-hmm. and I ran off into the car, and that's when she crashed. Yep. So that's oh, so. Then after that, then she wanted to know what happened to the girl that was in the house. That's when he said, when he got back to the house, she was dead because she took a whole bunch of pills, and he dumped her in the lake. But that's yep. not true. He he killed her." Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You find that out. You find that out. Yeah, you find that out. But, but yeah, that was crazy. 
I was like, damn, that was a good scene. Like how it she really got was. Actually, I had to get possessed and reenact the fucking situation really quick. Yeah, pretty much. And it was just like, oh shit. And the oh, the green eye thing was it was a cool, great yeah. touch. It made it, yeah, it was a good touch. It made you know that it's not Michelle Pfeiffer character. It's switched. It's the fucking spirit. So it, oh, it was yeah. like, oh, it's the spirit in control. I wish it happened more during the movie, though. I wish she was getting possessed a little bit more, doing like little fucked up things here and there to, uh, Me to uh, Harrison Ford, his character. And he's like questioning. He's like, what the fuck's going on? What's wrong with you? And she's like, then she's like, what are you talking about? She don't remember doing it or something. That would have been so dope. Yeah, <clears throat> like only doing it against him, and I'll even say when yeah. nobody else is around, really. Yeah, just to torment him. Yep. a little bit. Yep. He's got a. Yo, he even faked his fucking death. Not fake his death. I mean, fake an injury. Like he got almost electrocuted himself. Oh yeah, yeah. He, he was in the tub and he put a fucking hair dryer in there. But when they came, the tub was empty. They said because the power went out, that's why he got saved or something. Yeah. Yep. He they said shut the, the power out. To and turn the breakers off. The water and he just laid there like he got electrocuted. But his yep. vitals are fine. He did a, a waiver. He signed a thing where he didn't have to go to the hospital. He was like, I'm not going to the hospital. I'm good. Thank you, everybody. So how he played you, it off like he was a victim. Yo, how yo, do yo. you plan something like that out, though? You know what I mean? Yo, he's a professional psychopath, man. Sociopath. Was good, was good. Appreciate it. But, but yeah, I was like, what the, f like, how does he just, he's so man manipulative, very manipulative. I'm like, mm -hmm. this guy is. Quick on his feet, because that was a quick fucking scheme he thought of. He, like that. Like it was that. only one night. It was one fucking night. <laughs> all that shit. Like, how the fuck do you come up with all that? Like, what do you do if she doesn't come back home? Exactly. You just lay in the tub forever. You just fucking. You just get up. He's like, God damn it, bitch is not coming. Oh, but but at the same time though, it could be where he just heard her pulling up and kind of just. Oh, that's true. And he just ran to the. Because if you already have happened. the stupid, I mean, if you already have the plan in motion, I could cut the power off now. Nobody's yeah. really gonna pay attention to it. That's true. It's daytime. Nobody's really gonna pay attention to it, and then you know where the breaker is. You figure, okay, I hear her pulling in now. I'm already in my robe or whatever. That way, if she doesn't show up, whatever, I'm just chilling. But say he's already in his robe, whatever. Here's her coming in. Okay, let me turn the shower on. Shower's already on. So when the, she gets there, the shower's already on. It's not just getting turned on. And then you just fucking do the shit he did. Lay the shit in the tub. Maybe already had that set up. I guess I don't fucking know. Yeah, it's yeah. it's 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 it, it just seems so crazy and psychotic that you do that though ahead of time, and then it's just like, what if she's just like, you know, like again, she doesn't come back, or she just just like she hears you in the shower, but she's just like, fuck it, goes to bed, or just like, I don't care, I don't want to see you. I'm gonna stay on the couch, and I'm gonna get up and leave tomorrow too. I'm like, what, mm. whatever the case may be, or just come home, grab some clothes, and go stay back at her friend's house. Which her friend? Let's talk about her for a minute. She knew this affair was going on. Yeah. And, and she didn't, didn't tell her because of the accident. She didn't want her to bring up the memories again. She didn't want her to feel remember. Why did I tell her before? I don't I don't know. She didn't want I guess she didn't want her to know, so have her go be hurt and go through a divorce and all that. I don't know. She was trying to be a good friend. She apologized and she was she like, did. But that, that's my only thing is I'm wondering because maybe I got mixed up when she found out. But she definitely found yeah. out and knew for a little bit, at least long yeah. enough to let her give her a heads up before the accident. I'm saying there's just some people don't want to get involved. That's true. That is true. Even though it's your friend and you don't, you still don't want, you're like, fuck, I should tell him, but I don't want to get involved. Fair. That's actually, that's very so, fair. Cause, cause, yeah, cause so, then it's one of those, you know what it is actually? Cause that could get messy. Cause then it's one of those things where it's like, fuck, now I got involved in this shit. Now yeah. we're, beef you know what i mean something stupid because they stayed yeah, together or they're, they're mad at you because you told them yeah they blame you for telling them if you didn't yep. tell me i would never know <laughs> you would have knew when you, <laughs> you would have <laughs> seen that baby 
<laughs> shit like that. Yeah. So I get that part. I think that's how they played it off. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get that. Um. Then she just took advantage of the uh her forgetting. So they're like she was like good. I don't have to worry about it no more. She don't remember. I mean, I mean, I guess after the accident, after that traumatic experience, it's kind of like. Well, she's and then she said how the dude like looked scared, like he was gonna lose her. But then it's like again, is it more manipulation? Yeah, true. Because of course, I mean, at the same time, yes, he would be upset and sad about it, of course. But then it's also like, okay, I go here, I look extra. All the shit that just transpired, like she just seen her in the house with chick, and then the accident happened. So it's like, fuck. You don't see the accident, by the way. We don't even know about the accident until later in the movie when they kind of bring it up. Mm-hmm. Which yeah, they fill, probably, you in the, they, they fill you in the missing gaps. From the beginning. Yeah, which which is reasons why they blame like her being crazy or being off because yeah. of the accident, this and that. Like, nah, motherfucker, she's just seeing shit now. She's seeing the... <laughs> yeah. Which is just like... The crazy part about it is it's like... How... Did he do all that that fast? Because again, it goes from his wife taking off, leaving, getting into the accident. He doesn't know she gets. He doesn't know she gets into the accident until she gets to the hospital. I'm assuming. I don't know when he finds out she crashes, but obviously it's her husband, so he's gonna be the first person called. But he killed somebody, got rid of the body, got rid of the car, and got to the hospital. Or, or, because remember when she's looking out the window, right, and she sees somebody carrying something, which is like the shape of a person going towards a vehicle? Mm-hmm. That was, that had to have been her husband, because you never seen the face. Yeah. you never yeah, seen the make it, or model it was. of the vehicle. It, it, the ghost is making her see what happened. Yeah. And he took the girl's car, brought it down, and he said he pushed it in the water. That part he definitely did. Yeah, because we see that at the end. Yeah. Which, and I know we're going to be jumping around, but um, which which was cool how the way it ended with, you know, when the accident in the water with the truck, and then just happens to crash in the same exact spot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> happens something, you know. The well, the, the goals just... popped in the road. They It, it made it turn that way on purpose. Right. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Because she swerved and and went through the woods right into the spot where he dumped the car. Then his foot gets stuck. And and uh, Harrison Ford and Michelle Pfeiffer are fighting in the truck. Mm -hmm. He's trying to kill her in the truck while they're filling up with water, both about to drown. But um, the car below, so the pole that was from the boat that was being towed from the car. That's right. I forgot about the fucking boat. And it hits the roof of the car of the the dead girl blows yep. up because she had a rag top, rips it open. Her body floats up and she just, you know, the horror thing where she turns real, grabs Harrison Ford like mm-hmm. to keep him from going up the breeze. So he drowns while Michelle yep. Pfeiffer escapes. But then she turns back, her body turns back to normal as like the dead just corpse. Yep. Just floating back down. Yep. So that, that was pretty cool. Bottom. It was, and again, like the way the way this movie was, it was a good, it was a really good movie. Honestly, it was a really good movie, and it had a good story to it. It's one of those ones where I definitely feel like you guys should definitely check it out if you have never seen this, and if you have seen it and haven't seen it in years, go back and revisit it. It's a good movie. I do have a problem with it though. What's that? They didn't have to have the daughter in it. They really didn't need her. Their daughter, for you, what Michelle. The fuck, yeah. What the fuck was the point of the daughter going to college? She was not needed. She was in the movie for what, five, ten minutes? They brought her to college. Mm-hmm. They left. They went to the fucking lake house. They made one phone call to her. She wasn't there. The uh, roommate answered. Said, I'll have her call you back. The daughter <laughs> had nothing to do with the movie. She at didn't all. even come at the end. Like, you thought the daughter's going to come and walk in say, Mom, what's going on? Seeing, like, do be mm-hmm. part of this? No. And that's another thing. At the end, the father's dead now. It shows Michelle Pfeiffer at the grave of the dead girl. But where's the daughter? 
She didn't tell her. <laughs> what happened to dad? I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Are they fighting? Is she mad at the mother because the father's dead? That, or? Is, that is something right there, though. They really, like, what the they fuck? really did. Because, because if anything, they could have just had a picture of the daughter. On yeah, the she's in board. school. Yeah, they didn't have to have a character bringing them, bringing her to school and shit. Like she's gonna be part of the movie. You're absolutely right about that. Because you, you, she should have been a part of it more so if you're gonna show her at all. Yeah, exactly. And holy shit, I didn't even I forgot she was in the fucking movie until you mentioned it, that exactly. Shit. See what I mean? It, that yeah, holy shit. I thought she was gonna show up at the end, like come home, like she came home on break or something. Oh, school was out for a week. I came to visit you guys, and I thought she was gonna come in at the end. Yeah. Nothing. At no. all. Waste of a character. Paid that bitch for no reason. I mean, <laughs> Good for her. She got a job. You yeah, know. good for her. Shit. But the director, the writer didn't think about that. They're like, whoever. Damn, they were just like, yeah. We just, yeah, we just is, wasted dude. money on this scene right here. Not even that. Just moment. wasting this. Just wasting the scene. Yeah. It's like, like what the fuck. No need. There was really no need for that character no. at all. I don't care if it was a little part at the end, like a little tiny part she showed up for some reason. But that's all you used her for was the beginning. I hate when mm-hmm. movies people do that. Writers do that. Directors do that for movies. If you're going to put something in it, it has to be be part of the movie at some point of a, a foreshadow or something. Something has to take place later on in the movie. With something that you have in the beginning, mm-hmm. especially if it's a character. And no, no, like a dog no. or something. Especially what goes on in part. this, though, like with the father. Not only murdering someone, but then dying at the end. Yeah. Like, she gets her revenge at the end. Literally. She gets her revenge at the end, which is beautiful. But... Yeah, nothing. Don't come back for no funeral. No, Nothing like sitting in the hospital with the mother. Mom, are you okay? I can't believe no nothing. dad's doing nothing. 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 Oh, I don't fuck. know. I, I just I just hate it when they waste shit like that. It's just... But it's just... W- 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 with that said, though, I will say this. It, do- like, it does bother me, but I completely forgot about her, so it doesn't hurt the movie in my... Like, it doesn't hurt the movie like... Oh, no, it don't hurt the movie. It's just I remember it, so it bothers me. <laughs> but the, you know what I it remember. is? That, that's, that's one of those things where they put a little... It's like they put that, they put that shit in there for no reason. And you hate when they do that versus, you know, when they put those little, little little tiny things that come back later in the movie, like, oh, okay, that's why they, this person was there, or that's why this was there, or that's why that was said, or whatever. Not for that. Like, yo, she wasn't even mentioned again, not even by her parents. <laughs> after, you said after that phone call, they are just like, oh, shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, granted, there was a whole lot of shit going on, but still, I'm like, at the very least, I feel like we should have seen her again. At yeah. the very least, we should have seen her again. And oh, fuck, James. Was good. Uh, was good, you guys. Was good. Was good. Over here talking. Sorry, I'm late. Now. Oh no, oh, I know. Man. I see you guys just finished, so I already know <laughs> what lies beneath. We didn't even do our ratings yet. We're over here talking yeah. about we're, we're jumping just all over the place it. like we do. But we're right now. We're on how uh, well James was bringing up. He was like, one thing that really bothered me about this fucking movie, man, the daughter. There was no need for the daughter. You see her going to college. Yeah. They call her one time, and then that's it. That's what we're. That's, that's the discussion right now. Yeah. No, I get that because there's no checking in. Like they even say, "Oh, make sure to call your mom." When the fuck does that happen? Exactly. Nothing happens with the daughter. <laughs> <laughs> it's just dialogue. Yeah. yeah. All good, man. All good. I know you guys had a, you had a dope show going. You're doing the uh the the, the hate or the heartbreak this week. I get yeah. it. You can join. I join. Feel, if you're not feeling well, though, Mick, I get it. It's I feel like up, they bro. only added the daughter just to make people make her more relatable. You know what I mean? Like get the who the mom in their mid forties with the yeah, yeah. But I, Maybe. You, but but still though, here's what you could have did. Mm. Hey, how's Sally doing? Oh, she's in college. Oh, matter of fact, let me show you a picture sure. of her. See how she looks. That's all you had to do. Boom. I'm a mom. I'm a I'm a dad. I have a picture of my kid. They're in school. Yeah. Type of yeah, they had a whole they had like a whole five to fucking ten minute scene with the daughter, and daughter had nothing else, no other parts in the movie. At all. That's yeah, at all. Like, yo, Paul, her father, <laughs> her father is a murderer, and Anne dies. And there and at the end of the movie, it shows her mother at which I think is fine. I think this part is fine where she goes mm-hmm. to the 
to the girl's, you know, to the girl's grave site that her husband murdered, mm-hmm. even right. though she was cheating with her husband, but she didn't deserve to get murdered by her husband. Anything right. she deserved. Actually, she doesn't even deserve to get beat up by the wife, really. It's really the husband. She <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, that's besides the point. That is besides the fucking point. The point is the daughter did not need to be in this movie. Nope. And nope. James, I have to say this. I have to say this, James. I hope you're ready. In Sex in the City, it was not the little girl's fault. Wow. Oh. <laughs> in the movie, the first one. <laughs> I, I I I had to. I had to. Well, I had my opinion. I didn't say it was the little girl's fault either. I said it was someone else's. No, I know, I know. But you guys can go over to the Popcorn and Pints episode, look up uh, when we reviewed Sex in the City. I tried to throw that it was out. A there. Huge, we had a huge debate about that. Yeah, and we we, we, we discuss it every now and then, so I tried to throw it out there. Oh, I had to throw it out there again. Anyways. But yeah, back to what lies beneath. What did you think about this movie, Paul? I really enjoyed it. So this hits a soft spot because it's one, I think, one of the first horror movies my parents took me to see in theater. And it was one of the first ones we saw at a decent theater, not the dollar theater in town um and i think it was one of the first ones that wasn't like my dad had taken me to see the ring and other movies like that but he hadn't taken mm-hmm. me to see one it was more of a thrill i'll say this more of a thrill you know more of a psychological thing where you're not quite sure what's going on it does have supernatural elements but um for me as a kid i thought it was boring as shit because mm. you know i wanted things popping out and shit you know it's, it was a lot of dialogue things like that that i didn't understand what was going on um and seeing it later in life and even recently for the review, I actually enjoy the movie a lot more now than I did then. But back then I just enjoyed it just because I was getting out with my parents and being able to enjoy a movie. <laughs> yeah. 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 This was, I really enjoyed this one too. I really enjoyed it. And it didn't feel like a two hour movie. Like I saw it was two hours. I was like, no. Oh, fuck. <laughs> like, watching it, I'm like, yo, this is this. It, it flows good. It pick, like I said, it takes a little bit to pick up, but once it's there, it's, it's fucking there. And then you're just like, okay, I'm in. I'm yep. <laughs> in. Michelle Pfeiffer, Harrison Ford. Just him. Like this, yeah, like you said, just seeing Harrison Ford play a, uh, a role like this. Yeah. That was shocking for me. I was like, oh, shit. I wasn't expecting it. Because you're always expecting him to be the good guy. And right. he was. And he did such oh. a good job at him in that role. Mm-hmm. Way better than that uh, garbage movie franchise, Indiana Jones. By the way, people, way fucking <laughs> yeah. right. damn. But let's I mean, talk about that seance scene. I had completely forgotten about because I haven't watched this movie in a while. Yeah, that fucking scene. Like, do we do spoilers? Um, oh yeah, of course, hundred percent. When that dog came through, bro, I was like, uh, like <laughs> that shit got me. I'm not gonna lie, because <laughs> I, I thought it was gonna be Harrison Ford. I'm like, oh, Harrison Ford's gonna open the door and be like, what the fuck are you doing? And then the other door opens and it's a goddamn dog. I was like, oh shit. Like, the fuck are you like, fucking dog? Yeah. Got me, got yeah. me fucker. <laughs> and oh, and man, that's that even more be... scary because it's believable because a fucking dog would totally be like, what are you humans doing on the floor? And like, yeah. Pop in, like, yeah. An animal would definitely do that. The knock the yeah. door open and just go boom. <laughs> Oh hell! Or just like clumsily just walking around and they're wagging their tail. Their tail just smacks the door. Though shit, you guys yeah. in here? Let me go in there. Mm-hmm. See what the fuck's going on. Let me go over here and knock some shit over. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, man. Oh fuck. But shit, let's dive into some ratings. I I know we usually do that earlier, but we just kind of got into the discussion about this this movie, which again I enjoyed. I enjoyed. So. uh I'm going to give this one. I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm going with a seven. Seven. What about you, Paul? I'm gonna give it an eight. Nice. I'm okay with that. Nice, nice. Yeah, this shit was. This this was again. It was better than I expected. I didn't know what it was gonna be about because I again I didn't mm-hmm. read the synapse synapses and all that shit. I was just like, okay, let me check this out. Mm-hmm. I hope it's good. That was my that was my only thing. I was like, I hope it's good, and it <laughs> it was good. It was really good. It exceeded my expectations, and I shouldn't be surprised because of who's fucking starring in it with Michelle Pfeiffer and Harrison Ford. 
But there is a lot of movies, which I'm not going to name any because I can't think of any. I got to start just having like a list of shit that I say. Like, okay, let me, <laughs> bad, let me think of a bad movie with some great actors in it. Boom. But you know what I'm saying? Like, there's, there's movies out there with some good actors and the movie just is like, what the fuck? Like, how do you have this yeah. talent and you put this shit out? It's not, it's not a horror movie, but I thought movie 43 was a heap of dog shit. And that's, that's, a, that's a lot of great actors. Like the I thought it was is... funny, though. It could have been way, it should have been way funnier than what it was. Yeah. But I thought it was funny. Ooh, I thought it was funny. I, just, I only watched it yeah, once. I can't think of a pop the top of my head. I'm trying to think of one. That movie shit with 43. good actors. Yeah, I can't think now of anything. You got me wondering, too. <laughs> but it, it's, 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 that's it. That's a good conversation. That's a fun conversation. Mick, write it down. <laughs> <laughs> I know you have a list, Mick. I know you have a list. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, man. Fucking. Yeah, man. Uh, before we go on, I want to show you guys what's coming up on Thursday, Ooh. which is. And this one I've never seen either. Gerald. I've never seen this either. I know what it's about, but I've never seen it. Yes. Yes, yes. And then Sturdo Vision. Blood Rush. Blood My Rush. cousin Jeff said that this is the worst movie he's ever seen. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Well, no, no, no. Okay, okay. He did say Blood Lake was worse than that. But other okay, than that, thank you. This was number two for him. So okay. I'm gonna be reviewing that on Sturdo Vision this Friday and I'm kind of excited. I was, about, I was about to say he can't say that until he watches Blood Lake. That's the rule. oh no, he saw Blood Lake. He saw Blood Lake. Like I, I tell people that now. I'm like, listen, for those of you that know how I feel about Blood Lake, if you've never watched the movie, don't sit here and say you've seen a movie worse than Blood Lake. Say you may have seen a movie worse than Blood Lake, but don't be too. <laughs> people are like <laughs> one of our friends. Uh, one of our friends, uh, Sean. He was like, yo, I have four. I guarantee you I have four movies that are worse than Blood Lake. I swear to you, on one of the episodes, he was like, sturdy. I apologize. I was absolutely wrong with that. <laughs> he was like, I was absolutely wrong with that. Yep. And I was like, yeah, man, it's all good. It's all good. Now, um, I'm not trying to take over any topics, but have you guys had any rewatches lately where you rediscovered a love for any horror movies? Of course, the last week. Um... Uh, honestly, most of the stuff I've been watching lately is stuff I haven't seen before. For the most okay. part, whether it be mm. pod wise or just like for me and the wife are watching shows or movies or whatever. I got you. But I will say, um, oh fuck, what were the movies called? We just watched the other day. Let me see. If I, let me pull up my letterbox and I'll tell you guys in a second. You just saw one in theater that I wanted to ask about. Is it Into the Darkness or is, um, what you see in theater? Oh, uh, out of dark, out of darkness. Yes, I never heard of it. Yeah, how was it? How was it? That was good. Like, okay, so it's good. It it was. I know it's not a review for you guys, like me breaking it down, but it's been a couple ah. weeks since I've seen it, and I've seen a lot of shit in between, so I don't remember it too too well. I do know it was a Native American horror film, though. And okay. Oh, okay. There was some it's worth it. it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Couple Hell that. Yeah. I'll definitely because oh, yeah. it's in theater and i was like i know sturdy wants to see it i need to ask him how it was oh that was, was dope but okay. uh we watched okay so these these movies are pretty good and they're both on netflix it's called the bridge curse which hang on let me just share my, my mickey ficken screen so if i was to do some sturdy recommendations this would be one right here i'm gonna give you two is this, is this uh about um where uh kids are uh Doing a uh, suicide thing off the bridge. They're not doing a suicide thing, but there is a bridge thing. There's like a cursed bridge thing. Cursed, bridge, cursed. Let me write that down. Okay, but I'll leave it up there for a second. It's on Netflix. Yeah. Okay. There's this one. Maybe I'll watch them tomorrow. Then there is. Like I said, the bridge curse, and then the sequel, which twenty twenty three, the bridge curse ritual. I think it was just put on Netflix yesterday or this week, if I'm not mistaken. Nice, but there's a sequel yeah. to it, the bridge curse ritual. But uh, I definitely recommend it. it was, they were both fun watches. 
They're both fun watches. Go. Decent watches. Yeah, the only thing I can remember I watched is something I didn't never watch before. It was supposed to be for last week's pod on Thursday, but oh, it canceled. Yeah. It was a haunted honeymoon. Gene Wilder. It was, it was fun. It was, it was pretty fun. It was fun. It was pretty. It was fun. I just yeah, uh, fun re-wa- I just rewatched um, Doctor Sleep, and I'm a huge oh. fan. Like that's that's probably my favorite one. And I've I forgot how much I fucking love Doctor Sleep. That, the, the book it, the book is good. Yeah. Okay. See, I didn't read that book. I read The Shining, but I didn't. I, read I, Dr. I did Sleep. the all. I did the Audible. The audio. Okay. Audio book of it. Oh, yeah. Do. yeah. It's worth. But, oh yeah, my god! It, I love it's it. Be- it's better than the movie, but the movie I liked the movie. I thought it was great. I forgot how yeah. good it was, and actually, um, for Fear Fest in Raleigh this year, we're getting the woman that played um, Danny's mom in Doctor oh. Sleep. She's going to be at Fear oh. Fest this year, so I'm, I'm super geeking out about that because, <laughs> you know, I love all things The Shining. So I was like, let me watch Doctor Sleep, and I was like, holy shit! I forgot how fun and good this movie actually was. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Shit, shit, shit. Carolina Fear Fest. I cannot wait. That's going to be such a fun time, man. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's such so much fun, fun out there. Fun freaking time. It's such a great crowd. Because, like, I go to a lot of conventions around here, and I'm not going to talk bad about any of them in North Carolina because that's, that's not fair to anybody. But for me personally, if you want the good actors, but you want the fans that, like, you could stop and talk to anyone about mm-hmm. any movies. And they're all willing to talk to you. Like everyone has time for everyone around them and is polite. I think this is the best crowd for that. Um, That's how I feel about like some of the cons I go to around here. Like I, one I miss, I hope they come back. It's called uh, Scarecon. It's a small, okay. it's like a smaller convention, but it's just so personable. And just like what you're saying, you can stop and talk to everybody and just have great yeah. fun conversations about horror. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah. It's, I, I can't say enough good things. And it's nice that, you know, for the most part, the talent stays at the hotel that everyone stays at. And it's crazy that they'll come out. They'll just drink with you. They'll shoot the shit. Mm-hmm. And the, cool. the crowd, we all have an understanding. You know, no one's pulling out their phones. Let me get a picture with you. You know, oh, I'm going to record you taking a shot with so-and-so. No one's doing that. We're all just. No, yeah, you just have a good time. It's 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 like the yeah. old, it's like old school times where, I mean, well, one, we didn't have camera phones. And two, it was like. You're kind of just living in the moment. Yes, there was pictures taken, but it's more so you're living in the moment. If somebody remembers the camera, snap, snap. Yeah. Yeah. Not, oh, shit, that's so-and-so. Let me take 80,000 pictures and 80,000 videos, but not really have a yeah. conversation. They're really living the moment at all. Right. Really enjoy the... Right. Live in the moment, people. Live in the moment. And I like um, to think people that are my friends and know me know that I won't just lie. If I was like, hey, I was drinking with William Forsythe at a hotel mm-hmm. after hours i'd like to think my friends would all trust me and know that oh he's not bullshitting well i don't think it should be like proof <laughs> i i i'm i'm uh i'm not gonna i don't lie to my friends but i will make shit mm-hmm. up every now and then just to have a fun story i'll make up crazy shit but they know it's crazy like you'll well, know I, if I'm I lying. Do, <laughs> i'll do that too but you know sometimes you gotta throw them off just to see see how well they pay attention <laughs> but uh guys we are gonna wrap this one up listen what lies beneath is something you guys should definitely check out though it's a really good movie had a really good time with it and love me some of shelf life but with that said guys <laughs> i'll see you in your nightmares peace peace out